How's it going guys? A year and a half ago, I was anti-cryptocurrency. However, in this video today, I am going to walk you through my cryptocurrency mining setup where I generate between four and $500 per month in genuine passive income by mining cryptocurrency at home. Before we get into it, please remember to hit that like button. It helps the channel out with the algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment or question down below. Let's get into it. So before I walk you through my cryptocurrency mining setup and how I generate four to $500 per month in genuine passive income by mining cryptocurrency, let's talk about the elephant in the room. So I just explained to you guys that a year and a half ago, I was as anti-cryptocurrency as one could be. What changed? So I would attribute my change of heart to a single word, ignorance. A year and a half plus ago, I could care less about learning about, reading about, talking about cryptocurrency. Everybody was wrong, everybody was stupid. I'm not getting involved with it. A year and a half ago, I started learning about it, reading about it, talking about it, and I realized that I was the idiot. I missed the boat here and I made a huge mistake. But as they say, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The next best time is today. I'm planting that tree here today. So now that you guys understand my perspective, where I'm coming from, my change of heart, let's take a look at my crypto mining setup. And if you guys have any comments, questions down below, you'd like to see some other video made on this topic, let me know. Uh, I am involved in cryptocurrency at this point from really two perspectives. Number one, you can see I'm mining cryptocurrency behind my back here. And number two, I also buy cryptocurrency via cryptocurrency exchanges, almost like the stock market for cryptocurrency. So if you want to see videos on any of those topics and stuff, just let me know. We can put something together. Let's start off with a high level overview and then we'll look at the actual specifics of my cryptocurrency mining setup here behind me. So number one, I have not one, but two of these. These are the workhorses that are mining Ethereum 24 by seven by 365. So I have two of these. You can only see one here because the other one's plugged in somewhere else in my house. But this is an HP Omen 30L desktop computer, okay? These cost uh, 2,900 bucks each. So you can say I'm about 5,800 bucks into my mining equipment and I'm almost at the break even point here. Very shortly, I will have broken even with both of these machines and everything after that is going to be profit. So that's an important thing to take into consideration. When is your break even point if you wanna get into something like this? The other part of my setup back here, obviously flat screen monitor, pretty standard, you guys can see that. But more importantly, what's on the monitor and we'll take a closer look here in a second. That purple stuff over to the left, that's me actually mining Ethereum and making money 24 by seven by 365 passively. And on the right hand side, we'll look at this as well. It's a thing called MSI Afterburner. And so what happens is, is in the HP Omen computer here, there's a graphics card and people use these graphics cards to play video games and stuff traditionally. Well, what we do in the cryptocurrency mining world is we use that very powerful graphics card to instead of playing video games, we mine cryptocurrency with that graphics card. And what MSI Afterburner does is it basically tunes your graphics card so you can mine more cryptocurrency with it than you would if you just left it at its stock settings. All right guys, so here it is in all its glory, HP Omen 30L desktop gaming PC. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that if you go the gaming desktop PC for cryptocurrency mining route, a thing you might run into is the cases for the gaming PCs always seem to have some type of ventilation issue, which can lead to overheating or cooling issues. Now, you might notice this panel that's laying right here has been removed. Little single screw, unscrewed it and remove that and i noticed that my temperatures dropped quite a bit it's just it's like this cover here was kind of choking the computer a little bit so i just leave that off no big deal but i wanted to explain why that's laying there the other thing i wanted to explain to you guys you can see the side here all the components the big thing i want to explain is the geforce rtx that is the graphics card it's a geforce nvidia rtx 3090 real simple way of explaining this is this is essentially the Ferrari of graphics cards at the time of me making this video. Probably the most powerful graphics card that you can buy at the time of making this video. 
there's all kinds of different graphics cards out there. There's older graphics cards that are less powerful. This is the most powerful, simple way of thinking of it is the less powerful the graphics card, the less money you're gonna make versus the more powerful graphics card, you're gonna make more money, uh, mine more cryptocurrency with it. Kind of simple way to say it. The other thing I wanna mention, this is really important about the RTX 3090s, and I had to do this with both of my HP Omen 30Ls, is from the factory, this very expensive graphics card is going to come with thermal pad issues, overheating issues. Now, what that means is that if you take this computer out of the box, start mining Ethereum, and you set up these settings here in MSI Afterburner, like I told you guys, uh, or, or just start mining cryptocurrency period with this, you're going to notice that you're going to get a significantly lower hash rate than I currently get. And the reason for that is I changed the thermal pads in both of these RTX 3090s. If you have no idea what a thermal pad is, I don't want to scare you. And I wouldn't scare you away from changing these yourself. I bought the thermal pads and you can see them down in the video description down below with the Amazon affiliate link. I bought thermal pads off of Amazon. And essentially, if you can turn a screwdriver and peel things off and put things on, i.e. change the thermal pads, you can change the thermal pads on this. And I saw a massive temperature decrease from the factory thermal pads to the Amazon thermal pad change that I conducted on my graphics card. What that means is that this now generates about 123 mega hash which means generates more Ethereum, more money, more cryptocurrency than it did from the factory. When I had it with the original factory provided thermal pads, I was doing about 100 mega hash, maybe 95 mega hash. I couldn't even get close to 123 mega hash with the factory thermal pads. So really important that you change those things out. And if you don't change the factory thermal pads to the new thermal pads, the more efficient thermal pads, what will happen is the memory on your graphics card, once it hits 110 degrees Celsius, it does a thing called thermal throttling. And it's going to decrease the performance of your graphics card to prevent damage, but you're also going to mine less cryptocurrency because of the thermal throttling, the decreased performance. So just something to mention there. And there's a ton of videos on YouTube about how to do that. I had never done that before in my life. I took the first one apart, put it back together in probably 45 minutes, and this thing was up and running doing 123 mega hash at about a 94 to 96 degree memory temperature, which was a substantial decrease from where I was at. The other couple of things to mention here, I, I said this MSI Afterburner helps us tune that graphics card we were just looking at. So those are my settings. You can see, you can tweak these different settings here and things. Um, again, not hard to do. And uh, there's all kinds of videos and, and discussions and threads on it on the internet, but um, super important because this is going to help you generate more Ethereum, make more money, if you will, by tuning your graphics card. And the final thing I would show you guys is this is a thing called NB Miner. It's my mining software that I downloaded. It's free. And you can see all these different transactions that I'm doing here. And you can actually see 122.4 hash rate. I just told you I was doing 123 mega hash. And uh, once I turn off the monitor here and walk away from this thing, this thing will get back up to probably like 123.1 mega hash. Um, you can also see my memory temperature. I just told you there with the thermal pads. You can see 92 degree memory temperature there, which if I didn't change the thermal pads, this thing would be doing probably 108 degrees Celsius at probably 95 to 100 mega hash. So you can see changing those thermal pads is very, very important. And the final thing I wanna share with you guys is this website behind here. Click away from those things. This is called Ethermine. This is a mining pool that my two HP Omens are working on. They're generating Ethereum on. And you can see I have two workers active. Unpaid balance, $460. 
and you can see estimated earnings per day fourteen dollars just to show that i'm not making this stuff up guys i'm going to click to weekly 98 dollars per week and 429 dollars and 50 cents per month 100 percent passive income you can see that hash rate i was telling you about 261 mega hash so to wrap up the video guys there you have it two hp omen 30ls cranking away 24 by 7 by 365 you guys just saw 429 dollars and 50 cents per month want to be real clear i had mentioned 400 to 500 dollars per month in the beginning of this video and that's true right now at the time of this video ethereum is down around probably 36 3700 dollars per ether the reason I mentioned that is the price varies on cryptocurrencies. So with Ethereum's price being down $429.50, if Ethereum climbs back up to, you know, the $4,700, $5,000 range, whatever the heck it was not too long ago, you know, you're closer to that $500 per month number that I told you about. So it's all accurate. You guys can see it right here. Um, big takeaway, guys, is if you want to get into this, you can see it's not that hard to do. I'm not a computer expert. Amazon affiliate links are down below if you want to buy exactly what I have here. If you guys have any other comments or questions, you want me to go through anything, I'd be more than happy to do it. But I hope you enjoyed the video and you can see this is a genuine passive income stream. 24 by 7 by 365, this thing's cranking away, making me money while I eat, drink, sleep, and work, whatever. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.